Hey guys, what's going on? This is Giovanni from Tuna Tokyo. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Lancer Evolution X. Mitsubishi released the Evo 10 uh, back in 2008 and they unfortunately ended production, which I, I was very sad about in 2015 with the Evo 10 Final Edition. The Evo 10 was such a different look for um, Mitsubishi because prior to that, the Evo 8, Evo 9, you know, the look was more boxy. Um, people are just so used to it for so many years and now that Mitsubishi you know released the Evo 10 when they did um, it was some such more of a bigger car more round so it, it was really uh, a big change for the Mitsubishi Evolution enthusiasts and the fans out there for me I personally love the look so I went and I actually got myself a Mitsubishi uh, Evo 10 back in 2012 it was such a fun car it is a fun car to drive even then when it was completely stock and now that I did a couple mods to it here and there it is just such a fun platform and fun car to drive all over the place and all over the city back then the Evo 10 it was such a, a new thing to the younger enthusiasts so we were really excited to see what new modifications and stuff like that came from that car I want to talk a little bit about like the body kits, the body style stuff that you could do to the Evo 10. There's a lot of companies out there that manufacture body kits for the for the Evo. One of them is Victory Function. The other one is Kevman's Charge Speed and Varus. Um, Varus by far is my favorite. I have the Varus Type B on my Evo 10, which is I think absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. I have a lot of friends of mine that have the Charge Speed as well. Very very nice body kit. Gives the the car such a mean and aggressive look the evo has that full-on sports look mean look to it so it's, it just complements the car so well flows with the lines very well the evo when you first pick that up or when you buy it factory it comes with 291 horsepower so it's it's up there you know with other um, naturally aspirated cars and other turbo cars as well but once you put some mods into it, full bolt-ons, E85, and you tune the car, it's a whole different story. It's day and night, you have so much fun. For those of you guys that have a heavy foot, it could definitely get you in a lot of trouble, like myself, so I try to stay away from that, but it's so much fun. One of the easiest things and, and fastest things to do to get power from the car is obviously get rid of your catalytic converters all over um, you know, the car. So you could add down pipe, the test pipe, the exhaust, obviously your intakes on it. So it's such a fun car to drive. One of the best things that Mitsubishi actually did for the Evo 10 was they actually kept it all-wheel drive. The, you can feel the power behind the all-wheel drive. This car, once it goes, it goes. The power behind this car, the history that it has, you know, it's always been known as a high horsepower car. Um, top end speed is really great. When you start hitting over 120, over 130 miles per hour, the car, the, the power band starts to lower a little bit on it. But for those guys that are fully built and they even go stroker kits on those cars, it just, the power is just there. You will not miss uh, any shape or form of power when it comes to the Evo 10. What we want to talk about is also the Evo 10 when you first get it. Um, it has so many options that you can go. You can go with the MR or the GSR. For me, one, I do not like the MR only because it came in Tiptronic. It comes in an automatic platform. I, for one, wanted to get that power, that feel, you know, of a stick shift car. So I obviously got the GSR, but the MR comes full leather with the SSS package, the, the halogen headlights. Obviously a sound system inside from Roxworth Fosgate. So it, it's, it, you have your ups, and uh, your downs when it comes to both but overall they're both great cars so if you're looking into getting one I think you're not gonna go wrong with either one but me preferably I'm gonna be biased again and I'm gonna say go with the GSR because stick shift and it's just so much better and funner so that's pretty much it for today guys we're gonna go ahead and end here so comment below on any thoughts that you guys might have comments or concerns and then I'll get back to you guys in our next video thanks for tuning in Riders on the storm Riders on the storm